own, so make our very own paper mache hot air balloon. Let's have a little close look. There's a little Ted. It is hot air balloon. And that can be hung up as a lovely decoration. You could have anything in your little basket. If it's for a birthday or a present, you could even make a little figure, maybe with a photograph of somebody's face, so it looks like they're in the hot air balloon. So what we need, first of all, is we need a balloon. I'm gonna blow up the balloon. And then what we're going to do is we are going to cover the balloon in newspaper. So we're going to get a newspaper and we're going to cut the newspaper into strips. Just like that. Now be careful if you're using scissors and if you're very small you will need help. This is a project that you'll probably need a grown up to help you with. Right, so there's some strips of newspaper. You're going to need lots of strips of newspaper. And um, for our paste, you can use either PVA glue or you can make your own mix, which is very clever. You can use plain uh, flour and some warm water and you mix it until it goes into a gloopy paste. And that can become your glue. And it's very, very effective. So don't worry if you haven't got any glue at home. You could use plain flour and warm water into a paste instead. I'm going to use PVA glue as I have some. Now you're going to need something for your balloon to stand up in. So I've just got a coffee cup. So that it can just stand like that. Okay. And what you're going to do, using a paintbrush, you are going to cover a big area of your balloon with paste. Like that. Now, the, it takes a lot of glue, this does, just to make sure it's all in place. And you're going to simply stick on your strips. Once you're stuck on your strips, I want you to actually put your glue over the strip as well. Like that. So you know that it is definitely, definitely pasted down. Now, this is going to take a bit of time and a bit of patience. But it's also lots of fun. Just like that. Now, what you're going to need is once you've done one layer all the way around, including the base, but you don't need to do around this little bit. But that's why you've got it in a cup. So you're covering all around here, all along with your paste, but you're going to need about three layers. So I would suggest doing the whole balloon Maybe go off, have a little snack, have a little play, leave it for a little bit, and then do your next layer. And you're going to do that three times until you've covered your whole balloon. So paste onto balloon, then your paper, and then you paste over. And you need about three layers. Now, once you've done that, you will need to let it completely dry. So really, this is a two-day craft. Once you have covered three times, loads of glue, loads of paper, you're going to need to put that somewhere safe, balancing like this, so it's not going to, you know, fall on one side and get damaged. And then the next day, come back to it. And it will be hard and solid. You've still got your balloon underneath. Okay? So... The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our little basket for our hot air balloon. So I've used a coffee cup. You could use a party cup. You could use a little box. You could make a box out of card. Have a look around what you've got that could make something that looks like a little basket. Fortunately, I had these left over from a children's birthday party. So I decided to use these. And also, the colour's great to make that kind of basket effect. But it's a bit too big to look like a basket, isn't it? And we don't want the basket to be too heavy. 
because this, you know, even when we uh, burst the balloon shortly, um, it's a delicate, um, you know, construction, and it's not going to take lots and lots of weight. So there you are, cut that like that. Now, depending on what you've got, you might want to decorate your basket, depending on how much of a basket it looks like. Now, I've got round the bottom there, caution, content hot. Well, I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is I have got some of this, and this was from um, Hobbycraft, and it's um, sparkly ribbon. But you could colour it in, you could paint it, you could use any kind of ribbon you've got. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that round the base like that. And what I've used is I've used um, some double-sided sticky tape. I'm just going to cut that like that. Okay, so if you can see there, that has covered the base and covered the writing. Perfect. Right, so now what I need is I need these little bits of ribbon here that are going to connect from the base to the hot air balloon, like that. So I'm going to use the same thing, but you could use string, you could use wool, you could use ribbon, you could even use pipe cleaners. Whatever colours you want, and they all need to be cut the same length. So you need four. So there you are, I'm going to cut it the same length, like that, fantastic. And I'm going to use a glue gun for this, but you could use any strong um, glue or sticky uh, back plastic or sellotape. But this glue gun is really, really handy. So what I'm going to do is on four sides, I'm just going to stick that to the base to begin with. Always be careful when you're using your glue gun, of course. And if you're little, you'll definitely need somebody to supervise you with the glue gun. So I'm going to use some silver and some gold. Like that. All the way around the edges. Classic, it just all glued down. So can you see? You've got like that. And I'm going to pick a little tiny soft toy to put inside my basket. And I found this really cute little bear that I got on a trip to London. So I'm going to put him in here and he's going to sit. So then what you would do, imagining that this is a finished balloon, you would then attach this to the base of your balloon all the way around with glue just like that okay using the same glue that you've stuck it on so as you can see from the one that is finished that is what it will look like okay and then you add your soft toy into that basket brilliant so now, all you've got to do is you can go totally crazy with your decoration. Now, you could decorate it using paint, but you will need quite a lot of layers of paint to cover the newspaper. And just be careful, because you don't want to make any big, squishy indents into the shape of your balloon. So what I did was I used some tissue paper, like this. I use blue to create a sky. Now you can have any pattern you want. And all I did, a bit similar to how I actually did the paper mache, is I cut it into lots of lovely big strips. And again, stuck it on with glue, PVA glue, and put a bit of glue over the top as well to make sure it's stuck. I made a sunshine shape with my yellow. And I made some stars using my red. Now, what you could do, if you're really, really fancy, is you could cover it with a um, sort of a, 
a gloss, like a gloss paint, something that is going to make it really hard and stiff. Um, so you could do that if you're someone that likes making those stones, decorating stones, it's that kind of gloss that you put over the top. Um, and that is our hot air balloon. And at the top, what I've done is I've added another bit of my sparkly ribbon and that is going to hang up so I can hang it anywhere I want. Okay, now, really important thing, when you've done all that, you get to pop the balloon. Okay, so you pop the balloon from inside, pop, bring it out, and it should be a solid shape without a little balloon hanging out, but leave that to the end. So that is our hot air balloon. So we really want to see your hot air balloon so please can you send us your pictures on facebook and show us your amazing designs we're really really excited to see them so i'll see you next time so go and get crafting bye if you've enjoyed that remember to like share subscribe and if you can visit our gofundme page see you next time <laughs>